Hello everyone and welcome back to Quicksafe TV, your number one source for Skyrim coverage on YouTube. Today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to install, manage and prepare your own mods. Now, let's start with how to set up mods for Script Dragon. Script Dragon is a relatively new asset in the modding community which allows you to use which allows modders to use advanced scripts uh, even without having anything integrated in the game. It works at the same time with games and it heavily relies on the same version of the game so you always have to keep it up to date provided that your game is also up to date. Now how do we actually set it up? Each of the script dragon mods com comes up with two files. It is the name of the mod dot rc and the name of the mod as the ini, the configuration file. Now what you actually set up is the configuration, so let's go ahead and open it. This is the mod I like very much, and I'm just gonna go ahead and change the font for smaller. For smaller. Um, this is the mod I really like, it's called Enhanced Perk Points by Xenofixus. It's, it's a very interesting mod, as it allows you to customize heavily the uh, every aspect of the leveling in the game, meaning that you can set up how many perk points you get per every level, or when does it change and everything else. Usually, in every mod description on the uh, ini file of the uh, ASI mods for the script dragon, you have this long extensive description of what you can do in the file. After the description ends, you can usually see it by, look at this, dot comma, dot comma, dot comma, dot comma. That means it's not, it's not actual setup, it's just description and then you have the perk points right in in this how do you call them uh, squared quarters basically this thing is uh, the name of the mod and the actual settings of the mod right perfect and then lower we have the key enable key to enable the perks and blah 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 it's all description then we have perk reset and then we have key enable right now I have them removed but usually it would be something like 0x12 or 0x16 right it's um, code for each of the key, the hex values, the hex code for each of the keys you can find out right here. It supports even specific keys such as media, next track and so on, which the multi multimedia keyboard have. So you can actually you can actually pin different keys to various additional keys you have on your keyboard. Basically what you need to do, you click Ctrl F in order to find the needed key. For example, in my case, scroll scroll lock right let's find it perfect VK scroll 091 scroll lock perfect it, it even has a little mistake but it doesn't matter so we just copy it and we go ahead and put it right here exchange it replace it now now key enable will be at scroll lock very simple you can set up anything you want like this it's very simple very easy very neat but you have to remember, you're not obliged to have these keys. For example, in this mod, in this particular mod, it's not a necessary feature, it's just additional feature. So I can just go ahead and erase all of these keys after the equal sign. Just go ahead and erase it and keep it this way. Now, no keys will activate these specific commands. But you don't really need it because in this specific mod, you don't really need these keys. It's just to prevent accidental pressing of them. Now, how do we set up the values? Usually, uh, author specifies which values you can speci uh, you can you can put in specific, let's say, borders. Which are the borders for the values? You always have to stay reasonable and not absolutely insane. So just you can set up starting points, points per level, points per bonus level, and levels per bonus. Right. So let's just go ahead and set up starting points for ten, points per level to one, points per bonus level five and 10 levels to get a bonus level. As you can see, it's very simple, very easy. Now you just go ahead and save the file. In my case, I'm not going to save it because I don't want to. I, it's already set up to support my other mods and, you know, I spent some time doing it. Now, perfect. Keep in mind that after perk point, in this, notice how there's no dot and comma before that, like this. There's no... How do you do it in English? Is that it? Is that how you... Is that how you... Yes! Perfect, yeah. Notice there's no such thing, dot and comma, before that. That means it's an actual command. If you do it like this, the mod probably will not work or give you glitches because you just you just erase these commands. This is mandatory commands for mod to execute. This is also, right? Notice how they are without dot comma. It's very important. Very, very important. Perfect. Now just go ahead and close it. I think it's quite extensive coverage of Dragon Script. Now let's go ahead and 
open yeah how to set up your database of mods that's a very important um, idea because as you as your mods clump up together you will have more and more and more and more and more and you always have to have effective ways to sort them for each of you the effective way will be specific there's no just ultimate like you have to do it like this you have to do it like that in my case I categorize all of my mods in the next fashion so I have setups I have tools I have gameplay mods, graphics mods, music mods, and UI mods. So I call them specifically but what, by what they change. But when I have a lot of mods in each specific category, it's very hard to find it as well. Now I go to graphics, I set it up more specifically. I have blood and effects, characters, clutter, gear and equipment, sky and night, world. So basically, when I open them, I will have additional mods as you see it's very nice categorization if I need to find something it's very nice very neat so for example mm, I remember I had a nice mod for eyes where is that oh characters nice and eyes perfect oh I remember I had nice mod which changed the appearance of the lock uh, lock picking interface hmm lock picking interface perfect mm, I remember I had mod for blood hmm it's right here very nice very neat very easy to set up you see so if you want to extensively mod your Skyrim, you should, you should, first of all and foremost, organize your library, or else it's just going to be disorganized pile of crap in which you won't be able to find anything useful. It's not comfortable. You have to, you have to keep in mind that comfortable setup for yourself, uh, which you're going to spend, let's say, half, half an hour, one hour, will save you a lot of time in the future. Now, <laughs> and that's where I finished with that, let's talk a little bit about how to set up your drag and drops. I like to prepare for myself, as I work a lot with mods for Skyrim, in general, I don't work with them, I just organize them for myself, you see, and for show off and everything, blah, blah, blah. I like very much to, this is a wrong folder, I like very much to set them up specifically in a specific fashion. I like to create specific folders, which I call uh, a date, a current date at which I set it up right here. 14, 12, 2011. I don't write it in American fashion, I'm sorry, I'm writing in European fashion. Basically, 14th of December 2011. Skyrim 1370. This is the my, my today's setup, as you can see, 14th of December. I, I, my today's setup, and how can, how did I do that? I just create the folder and I create additional folders. Data, ASI, right? ASI is for the um, Dragon script. Data is for everything else now how do you set it up yourself just create yourself a folder right call it my mod setup i i suggest you to i recommend you to call it by the date also just to specify date right or in in american fashion how would i write it i cannot do that all right i hope it's correct right i hope you write like this i hope it's understandable so you open it and then what you do, you remember all the mods that were working for you. Perfect. Now just go ahead, open gameplay. Oh, I want to set up here first data and ASI. Ah, just so I can just drag and drop all these th things in my game directory. Now, perfect. Now just go ahead, open the stuff and just keep, for example, blood and effects. Yeah, I want it. I want it. Perfect textures and the ESP dropping into data folder now additional ESPs longer screen blood more screen blood drop it now let's go to silly level of detail data textures just go ahead and drop it perfect all prepared notice how it's not installed in the game yet but you already prepare yourself a quick setup which you can in the future if you suddenly have to reinstall the game or something wasn't working and you have to reinstall the game just go ahead and drag and drop it in your game directory and notice how we already have a small setup of mods installed look at this it's all prepared blood clutter weapons look at this it's all prepared so we have setups and in my case I can just deinstall de the game right now reinstall it and just copy all of this and just drop it, drop it in my game like this so simple it will take like five minutes but you don't have to oversee don't have to waste any waste any time on this usually creation of your database depending on its size database of 50 modifications will take half an hour but in the future it can take uh, a lot it can save a lot of hours right because you won't be you won't be in need of setting it up if your game crashes and just fails to play <laughs> as such you just go ahead to setups copy the setups and the freshly reinstalled game and it, everything works. It's perfect.
very very good I think I covered everything yep indeed I covered everything if you have any additional questions go ahead and ask them I'll try to answer them the best I can I might make additional videos if you have any additional interesting questions now it was great having you here I, I hope you liked the video enjoyed my commentary I hope you find out something new if you did go ahead like subscribe and share with your friends or even favorite it's also very nice because you don't have to share with your friends whoever checks your channel will be able to see one of my videos and probably find me using your channel I would be really grateful for that thank you very much for watching thank you very much for joining have a great day and good luck with your mods in Skyrim him.